The execution of a Missouri death row inmate is set to go ahead today after the state Supreme Court and the state's governor both rejected pleas to stop the procedure, despite, despite rather prosecutors saying he may be innocent. 55-year-old Marcellus Williams is scheduled to be executed later today by lethal injection for the 1998 stabbing death of Lisha Gale Williams and has maintained his innocence in the case. Or rather, Williams has maintained his innocence in the case. Uh, attorneys for Williams still have an appeal out to the U.S. Supreme Court, though. Joining us now to discuss this is CBS News legal contributor Rebecca Royfe. Rebecca, good morning. So this execution has actually been sort of pushed along kind of several times. Help us understand, though, what the arguments were from Marcellus's attorney, what they brought forward, and why this time around the Supreme Court was not swayed. There were two arguments, Anne-Marie, that the lawyers made um, this time. The first one was that Marcellus did not receive a fair trial because he, uh, the uh, prosecutors ex wrongfully excluded a juror based on that juror's race. The second argument was that the prosecutors destroyed the only evidence that could possibly exculpate Marcellus in this case. And so those two arguments failed in the Missouri Supreme Court. Hmm. What's now is just one last chance with the U.S. Supreme Court. I found it interesting sort of reading some of what the justices had to say. And some of their phrasing, maybe you can explain to me, but it was essentially, I see nothing here that would prove his innocence, which I, I thought was an interesting way to phrase it because I thought it would be, you know, I see nothing here that would... I don't know. Somehow I thought that the phrasing would be different but, different, but I guess at this point, the conclusion of the court is that he is guilty and you need evidence to prove otherwise. Right. I mean, once somebody has been convicted, the jurors have decided, 12 jurors have decided that he's guilty of this crime, then, you know, that presumption that we normally have that people are innocent shifts. That said, the idea that we might execute somebody who is potentially innocent is itself troubling. And I think that's what you're picking up on, the idea that there might be one, you know, one possibility. And especially in a case like this, where there is, um, you know, significant evidence that prosecutors themselves contributed to the loss of the only evidence that could exculpate this defendant, you know, it's troubling. And that those prosecutors themselves have joined with the defendant's lawyers um, in an attempt to um, stay the execution is remarkable and something that, you know, should give the courts pause here, I think, but have not. Uh, really quickly, any other options for him? Well, he has one left, last option with the U.S. Supreme Court. He's asked for a stay of his execution based on that argument, the constitutional argument uh, that the juror was wrongfully excluded due to race. Uh, we have not yet heard from the Supreme Court. He is scheduled to be executed, as you said, later today. So, uh, you know, we're, we're waiting that last minute, um, that, the response to that last minute petition. All right, Rebecca, thank you.